Welcome back to video number 46, and I hope you guys had an easy time copying that form code from the last video. I promise I'll have HD videos soon, so it'll be much easier to follow along. Okay, so in the last video, we created a basic HTML form, the couple HTML5 tags. Easy stuff. So now let's set up our form. So if we click something, if we click submit or add right here, something actually will happen because not because right now nothing will happen. So let's go ahead and look at our code. And what I want to look at right here is our position. And I want to make this dynamic. So why don't we go ahead and create some PHP right here. So right underneath position, I'm going to drop down a couple lines. And I'm going to go ahead and create some PHP tags. Drop down a few more lines. Okay, so what I want to do is remember the first couple functions that we created? Where's our these functions up here. Well, we're going to use these. We're going to pull in our get all info as well as our our variable info underscore set. So let's go ahead and call info underscore set and let's set it equal to our function that we created get all info and let's close that out because we're not running an argument through there. And now let's go ahead and create a new variable called info underscore count and we will equal this to not uh, mysql underscore fetch array but here's a new or not, it's not a new one but it's new to us here's a new um, uh, function mysql function it's called mysql num rows and we are going to run an argument through here which is info underscore set and be sure to close that out and I'll go ahead and make a comment over here in regards to this PHP function and this this function asks MySQL how many rows we have and it should be three because we have what do we have we have this is Village Park videos and services for this information field okay so let's drop down another menu and let's go ahead and run a loop and for this we will run a for loop and remember for loops need three expressions and they all go inside right here so again let's go ahead and create a variable and we'll call this count semicolon and we will set this less than or equal to our info underscore count right there semicolon and we'll increment it by one plus plus no semicolon after our third condition and let's go ahead and give it it's uh let's go echo something we want to execute and for this what do i want to do what do i want to do i'm going to steal this value right here our option value i'm going to go ahead and plug it in right here and I need to go ahead and use backslashes because we have double quotations inside double quotations. So we need to go ahead and escape these. Okay. Okay, so in, instead of having one right here, let's go ahead and use the variable that we just created. And we called it count. And I'll just go ahead and copy this out right here and paste it in where we had our one and let me double check and look over this we've got to close this out right here we've got our closing brace right here I can bring this PHP tag up a little bit now consolidate our code a little bit make it look, look a little bit better okay so info set set that function create a new variable set it to this PHP function info set okay so this should work so let's go ahead and save this let's go back to our new underscore info dot PHP page right here now let's reload it and uh oh the connection was reset just check okay this should work okay perfect and when we click on position right now, there should be three. There should be our, this is Village Park, videos and services. I mean, it's not going to say that. It's just going to read how many uh, rows we had with that function. Where was that function? Right here, MySQL underscore num underscore rows. So let's go ahead and click on position, and let's hope three shows up. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you guys followed along, and uh, everything made sense. And I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.